And what is up, YouTube? Lou Boyer coming to you from the Everglades. If you haven't seen part one, I suggest you watch it. This is a continuation of that. Um, that went from about 8 p.m. or so till about 10 p.m. And I stopped, put my new SD card in the camera, got something to eat and something to drink. And I'm going to road cruise for, well, I'm going to road cruise till the sun comes up. So I'll break this up into as many videos as I think I need to. But uh, yeah, let's get going. All right, so I've been using the GoPro. You see it here mounted in the window. And it's got this hindsight mode where it basically records back 30 seconds from when you push record. So I've been using that a lot so I don't just have the thing running all night because I don't have that kind of SD card space. But, you know, I haven't looked at it yet. It seems to have worked most of the time. It said it recorded it. And a few times it literally locked up and I had to take the battery out to get the GoPro working again. Oh, there was a snake, but it was dead. Um, so, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, the whole locking up thing is a real bummer, but uh, hopefully I got some, uh, some of the choice uh, finds with that thing. All right, so <laughs> didn't take long. I think there's a live snake amidst what looks like a dead snake here. A lot of stuff on the ground, but there is a live snake right here. Oh, and here we go. Another little cotton mouth. This is the smallest one yet, and maybe, I don't know, a foot long. Not very big. Anyway, I'm going to move him off the road. All right, little guy. Yeah, I'm not going to hurt you. I just want you to go. Let's go that way. All right, so there we go, off the road. Oh, you mosquitoes, you mosquitoes. <laughs> All right, so good start to video number two. I've only been cruising like three minutes since I, you know, had something to eat. And, you know, there we go, Copperhead. I didn't take a lot of video because if you saw my previous part one, I found two of those, and one of them was pretty big and pretty cool looking. So, uh, yeah, there'll probably be a few more of those, so let's keep cruising. Make sure there's nothing by my feet. You guys probably already ID'd it as I pulled up on it. <laughs> I'm in the area where these things are frequent, apparently. Here is another cottonmouth, otherwise known as a water moccasin. You saw him give a little bit of the white mouth there. Oh, and there you go. Look at that. Let's see if I can zoom in on that, because that is actually super cool looking. Well, of course, it won't focus. And it's upside down, but uh, yeah, there you go. He tried to get away, and now he's just saying, hey, don't mess with me. Here's a shot from the bottom of the head. It's got a little bit of patterning on it. And he's just going to hold this position till I leave, which I'll do here in a minute, but uh, I'm so stoked to find these. I didn't realize how common they really were out here. Look at that, huh? That's pretty damn cool. All right, well, I'm not going to mess with him. I'm going to leave him here. He's off the road where he's safe. There is another car coming. So, anyway, may have saved his life. I don't know. Cool. All right, so that one was a little bit bigger. Um, really cool. Got the good gape on that one. On the first video, the part one, I didn't really get that. But uh, this guy was quick to do it. He just took off, and then he just went for the white mouth. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty damn cool. Let's keep cruising. Alright, so what is this? It's uh, different looking. What is this actually? I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I know it's not venomous. It's got kind of a stumpy tail. I would say ribbon snake, but I don't think it is. I would say garter snake, but I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. If you're from Florida, I'm sure you know what it is. Almost looks garter snake like with the uh, stripe down the back and that's probably what it is. It's probably just a garter snake, but uh, Different than I've ever seen All right, so not sure exactly what that was. Maybe it was just a garter snake of some kind, but uh, mm, the Colors looked a little off. I'm not sure maybe some sort of water snake again. You Florida guys. Let me know what that was um, I'm not sure All right, so pulling over for a dead snake. It may be the same species I just saw, and I believe it is. Is that a little ribbon snake? 
I don't know, the colors just look off to me. All right, so as we're cruising here, guys, um, just some quick updates. It's about, oh, 11 p.m., so I haven't gone too long. Um, this cotton mouse and then that one snake, which don't know what that was. Um, and then the dead one that was the same. Um, Temperature-wise, it's showing uh, 79 degrees. And uh, I really want to find a corn snake. <laughs> I don't know why, but I want to find a corn snake. That would be cool. All right, guys, I already walked back to see what this was. Um, I, I didn't know if I was going to show this to you guys or not. I'm so bummed right now. Oh, there's a snake right here. It's dead. Oh, the mosquitoes here are nuts. And it's something I was really hoping to see. Oh, Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. And it almost looks like someone took the tail off. Uh, anyway, I wasn't going to show it, but uh, maybe we'll find a live one, huh? What a bummer. What a total bummer. Just had a powdered sugar donut <laughs> with a little mosquito repellent on my hands mixed in, and uh, not sure how good that is for me, but uh, I don't know what's worse, the powdered sugar donut or the repellent, but uh, yeah, 11.30 now. It's been slow for a little while, but uh, I'm heading back down to the other end where there seem to be more snakes uh, earlier, so uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, so battery's going to die. i got to change batteries, but uh, yeah, nice uh, cotton mouth, another one medium sized he's already off the road here sorry I'm blowing the mosquitoes off me so yeah he's heading that way and we'll let him go that way but I hadn't seen a snake in a while so it's nice to see another one and apparently these things are probably one of the most common snakes out here alright so at some point I'm just gonna stop videoing the uh, cotton mouse um, you know they were a lifer for me tonight and now I've seen I don't know 15 of them I haven't videoed all of them but uh, Anyway, I'm going to keep going here as soon as I can get the uh, window defogged. And I don't really have this problem because we don't have the humidity where I am, but uh, the wipers work great for a second and then it, it makes it worse. I've tried it on every mode of the defrost. I've tried windows up, windows down. I don't know which one makes a difference, but I can't keep cruising like this. So uh, maybe I'll get my shirt and uh, wipe it off or something. So yeah, I'm trying to defog my window, but while I'm doing that, He's still here. There was a large, I'm assuming it's another cotton mouth, because they're everywhere. And maybe it's one I saw earlier, I don't know. Look at the size of this guy. That is a nice looking snake, huh? That's a beauty. It's interesting how they sit here with their head up off the ground. Really easy to notice them on the road. And there he goes. He's going to take off. Good enough, far enough off the road so he won't get hit, hopefully. Although he'll probably just turn around and come back on. Anyway, let's keep cruising. Well, windshield wipers are working. And yeah, another one. Um, I probably won't move this one. There's no traffic. I haven't seen a car in a long time. And he's heading off the road anyhow, it seems. So, uh... Yeah, cotton mouth number, I don't know, <laughs> a million. All right, so besides a flurry of cotton mouths, which I didn't record all of them, there were just too many, um, I haven't seen anything in a while. I'm really hoping to find that corn snake or something different. Uh, and it is, what is it, uh, 1230. So I'll be out here for probably another four hours cruising. So. <laughs> Hopefully it's not all copperheads, or uh, not all cotton mouse, you know, from here on out, but uh, plenty of time left. All right, so I'm stopping. All right, so I stopped for a snake here, and I think he's dead. I already looked out the window and saw him and that would be a total bummer. I'm hoping he's alive. Uh, but he is not. Uh, that's a little scarlet snake or a scarlet king snake. Uh, I gotta flip him over to see. No, a scarlet snake. Here, hold on. All right, so I brought this guy in the car here real quick. Um, obviously dead, I wouldn't spend too much time with a dead snake. 
But this is one snake I was really hoping to find alive. And maybe I will. I don't know. But I'm totally bummed right now. All right, so totally bummed about that. There was a car that actually passed me not that long ago that could have possibly hit that. Um, that's one of the things I was really looking to find. I didn't really even mention that because I just didn't know, you know, how big of a possibility it would be. But uh, Scarlet Snake, still cruising. You guys might find this a little bit funny. I've got to, I've got to stop and take a piss. And there's like nobody out here for miles. So like, yeah, no big deal, right? <laughs> Wrong. I'm sort of afraid to stop and go because, like, I don't want mosquito bites there, and, uh, yeah, I don't want mosquito bites there, so I'm holding it till I get to the gas station. What are you? What are you? Oh, it could be a scarlet snake, or a scarlet king, and it's one of the two, way larger than the dead one. Oh, this is sweet. I'm gonna grab him and get some better shots before he heads off the road. All right, so let's pick this guy up. So have a look at this snake. This is a scarlet snake. But I mean, it's got that like tangerine up by the head, the first band, and the rest are more creamy looking, but uh, oh, and I got mosquitoes just buzzing in my ears, but I don't care. All right, so time to move this guy off the road and let him go on his way. Oh, yeah. There he goes. He's going to try and burrow, it looks like. Huh. Kind of cool. All right, so I probably got, no joke, probably 50 mosquito bites uh, videoing that snake. But uh, totally worth it. Um, you know, a lifer for me. After finding the dead one, finding the live one was just... Uh, it's special and I still got like four or five more hours out here. So let's keep cruising All right, so I should uh, mention again I said it in part one of this two-part series that uh, if you see me holding a snake It's because I'm outside of the park. I'm outside of Everglades National Park uh, Inside the park you can't uh, pick up or hold the reptiles. So uh, yeah, that's Scarlet Snake luckily outside the park Anyway, I'm back inside the park now and cruising maybe towards a gas station. I gotta get gas sooner or later here. I've been cruising for quite a while and uh, while this car does pretty good on gas, you know, it's gonna run out eventually. <laughs> and just like that, another one. Another scarlet snake. About the same size. This one might be a little prettier. But another scarlet snake. Wow. We'll watch him go off into the grass here. I don't know if the mic's picking up the friggin' mosquitoes. Oh, but they're right in my ear. And it sucks. Big time. But totally worth it. Scarlet snake number two. Oh, they're biting my back now. Ah, damn bugs. All right, uh, the funny part is I bought bug spray. I used it earlier. It's in this car somewhere, but I've searched and searched and searched. I don't know where I put it. I mean, it must have rolled underneath the seat or something, but, uh, oh, you know, add maybe 10 more mosquito bites there, but uh, Scarlet Snake number two. And uh, I I'm pumped again. I was kind of getting a little bit bummed there for a while, but uh, yeah, where's that corn snake at? I see you. All right, so another decent sized cotton mouth. This one's darker than the rest. Still a bit of a pattern on him, but not much. Oh, well, there's the mouth. Gave a little flash there of the white mouth. Come on, show me that white mouth. You can hear him hissing. Oh, there's the white mouth, look at that. Look at that. I mean, that's just classic, classic cotton mouth behavior. That's crazy, huh? Yeah, that's awesome. 
Yeah, you can see the fangs up there on the top of the mouth. And you know, like all snakes, he doesn't want to use them on you. But he will if he has to. Cool, all right, well, we'll leave him be. Sorry about my crazy loud car again. I'll never rent that thing again. All right, guys, as you can see, I've driven over 200 miles. Um, what a great night. I'm almost out of here. If I find something else on the way out, I'll definitely video it. But uh, I think that's going to do it. Um, to road through somewhere you've never been before is its just so special. And I uh, met some cool people. And, uh, yeah, does it get any better? I don't think so. Anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and uh, we'll see ya. So sitting at security, uh, I've taken that snake hook with me all over the world, but uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm just gonna give it away because I can't check it. So, but I can video here, right? Okay. No, no, just out this way. Okay, cool. All right. All right, man, it's all yours. All right, see ya. All right, so there you go. Um, I've traveled all over the world: Hong Kong, Singapore, you name it, and uh, in Miami. That's the end of my snake hook. Go figure. That's where it ended up, in that bin right there. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I don't know if I was able to video all that. Uh, they were a little bit... They said I could video, but not in certain areas. But, uh, yeah, my snake hook uh, has been all over the world, and I, you know... Miami won't let you uh, check it in. I just checked it from LA yesterday on the same airline. So, yeah.